Where do you see uh, in his career 10 years from now? I can see this guy getting a Grammy, to be honest with you. <laughs> Still returned to campus just over a month after his last visit when he opened for comedian Spike Davis. All right, I guess I'm going to get started. As Brown's manager, Davis says Soul Rivers Act has come a long way in both singing and storytelling. I do. I enjoy it, man, because I've watched him grow over the last five or six years, just from when he started out doing open mic nights to where he is now, where he's actually doing a, a storyboard throughout the whole show. If everybody listens to his show, you'll find there's a whole story that goes along with every song that he's singing. It's a Michael Jackson classic, man, and... Davis says Brown's act has evolved to a point where he can share the same stage with some of the hottest artists, spanning several genres of music. He has a show with Anthony Hamilton coming up and Angie Stone. That'll be Thanksgiving night in Louisville. So uh, he's getting his name out there pretty well. He's done some jazz shows with uh, uh, Kirk Whalen, was one of the big names from the jazz world that he actually uh, shared the stage with as well. During the concert and jam session, this reporter had an opportunity to both speak and play music with Soul River Brown. He says jam sessions provide a rare opportunity to meet an even mix of new people. It's a give and take sometimes. Sometimes you get the really good musicians and you meet like a diamond in the rough. Or you get that one guy who thinks he plays very well, but oh, really not that good. But for the most part, you know what I'm saying, I find a lot of great musicians when I do jam sessions. <laughs> Soul's manager attributes the musician's success to his ability in bringing people together through song, whether he's in a big city or a small town campus. I think music, man, and, and comedy as well, they're universal, you know. If somebody's a talented singer, man, I mean, people just come out and enjoy the music. Dirty down and the nose. Living on the road as a traveling musician, the Georgia native says a live music career requires stamina and patience. He recalls one weekend of seemingly nonstop performances in Louisville. Got there at 9, did that set, nine, well, 9.55, ended up leaving there to go to another set to play from 10 o'clock at night until 3.30 in the morning. So then you go to sleep, wake up, write a little music, and then just do it all over the next day. Soul River Brown says he wouldn't have it any other way, and that the best way to make a living is by doing what you love. I love it. So it keeps anybody doing anything, you know what I'm saying? If you love it, you just do it. And I love what I do. And if I can get paid for doing it, then I'm going to keep doing it, you know. Reporting for News Center, I'm Carl Gibson.